All right, Dan, here in front of me we have the Power Commander 5, which was released a year, year and a half ago, and it's for all 2009 and current motorcycles. Correct. Now, this unit is extraordinary as compared to the Power Commander 3 because of all of the plugins and additions and, and absolutely phenomenal things that you can do with this unit. There's a lot more details that's going to be done with the Power Commander 5, yes. Now, the unit straight out of the box does almost n identically to what the 3 does. It's the additional plugins and the software inside that allows you to modify to a greater detail. Correct. Uh, the, the actual operating parameters of the 5 is going to be the same as the 3. We are still taking control of the injector on the motorcycle. Okay. So what are some of the things that we're going to see in the 5 that we're not going to see with any other unit? With the Power Commander 5, the first thing we want to point out is it's less than half the size of the Power Commander 3. So uh, as these newer bikes have gotten less and less area to be able to store a unit, uh, we've compensated by cutting a lot of the size out of it. We are still a direct plug-in. This particular unit happens to be for a Harley. It has the big gang plugs on it. This one is for a sport bike, such as a CBR 600. It again plugs directly into the injectors. We've still got the situation where we are not cutting or splicing into harnesses. We are plugging into factory connectors. Oh, with the Power Commander 5, I can run dual maps. I can tune uh, not only for a one fuel table for all cylinders, I can tune each cylinder independently. I can tune each, cil each cylinder in each gear. Matter of fact, it's to the point of so extreme that you very seldom have need for that level of tuning. I also have the option of being able to do ignition. I can uh, adjust startup fuel. I can do uh, temperature, I can do changes of fuel according to engine temperature. I can change accelerator pump. Uh, the list is, it just goes on, uh, on and on in this product. That sounds amazing. Now there's one piece that plugs into the Power Commander 5 that I find absolutely extraordinary, and it's called the Auto-Tune. Yes, the Auto-Tune unit is going to allow us to plug into a Power Commander 5 and install, and we need to install an O2 sensor into our exhaust system. Now this is a special O2 sensor. This is one that measures a wide range of, of air-fuel ratios versus what you may find in some of your stock motorcycles. But this O2 sensor will let us adjust things for performance. And by plugging this O2 sensor into my Power Commander 5 through its auto-tune box will allow me to adjust the fuel to the exact parameters I set in there. The same as if I put it on a dyno and actually dyno-tuned it to, to, to tune the fuel. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. So this here is the auto-tune unit itself. And how does this plug in? Okay, we have, of course, the O2 sensor that I mentioned a little bit earlier. That goes into our pipe. It goes up to my auto-tune unit. Now, this particular auto-tune unit is for, uh, it's got a single O2 sensor, and it's for tuning on single cylinder, two, three, and four cylinder bikes. Now, it can be used on almost all bikes. Um, it plugs into my auto-tune box here. I need to pick up 12 volts so I can run, so for running the heater on my O2 sensor, and it plugs into my power commander. So really when you get down to the basics of it, it's install the O2 sensor, plug in 12 volts, plug it into the power commander. It's a very simple installation. Here we are today with Dan from DinoJet, and he's going to show us how to properly map a power commander 5. All right, we're working with a power commander 5 from an 09 GSX-R600. Uh, the map that comes in it from DinoJet will be for the stock bike, stock exhaust. So if you're plugging into a stock bike, you don't have to remap. But if you're changing exhaust systems, we need to remap this. To do it, we want to plug our USB cable, which is included in the kit, into our Power Commander 5. Nice thing of the Power Commander 5 versus the old Power Commander 3 was we no longer need to have a battery supply to it or the bike, our bike running to be able to power it up. It gets its power from the USB cable. It's now connected to the Power Commander. We can see down here it says device successfully connected. I can now look at the map that I have in here. All right, this is the map in my Power Commander 5. But we're going to remap this. So our Power Commander 5 is a part number 22005 for the Suzuki, 6, Suzuki 600. So I open my map file and I go over to my M20-005 numbers. All right, there's my 2005. I click on the first number up there and it gives me a description. It's a 2009 Suzuki GSXR 600 with stock exhaust and stock air filter. That happens to be a map that's in it now. 
As I arrow down to the next map, it's, this particular map was built for a Graves Motorsports full exhaust. Next, two brothers, Vail Slip-On. Yoshimir R77 Slip-On. As you can see as I go through this, every one of these is a different combination. These maps are all made at DinoJet on our dyno with the, with the actual components listed. So you can trust the maps off of our website and they'll come with our uh, CD. All right, we're going to use that, M, that M, or R77 slip-on. I'm going to click open. When we do that, it then loads the map onto my computer, into the software. It is not yet in my power commander. But to put it in the power commander, all I need to do is come down here into send map and click on it. When I do, you'll see it says sending map and map sent successfully. We've now remapped a Power Commander 5 for the uh, Yoshimura R77 slip-on.